So let's say you have a box plot, in this case a comparative box plot from SPSS, and you'd like to make it look a little bit better or different or whatever. Uh, generally speaking, what do you want to do? It, what you want to do is click into the space you want to make a change. So if I click in here in the middle, then I'm going to get a screen that looks like this, and the fill is just the background back here. I'm just going to put fill and get rid of that and apply it. Now that's gone. Uh, let's say I'm not too crazy about the color here so I can go over here and click on the fill of that and maybe change it to that. Let's go for gray here. Okay, so you've changed, I've changed that. Uh, I might want to change the title on the axis, so I'm just going to go click over there. And you kind of, what you have to do is mess, you have, you have to mess with it a little bit, and then it went uh, sideways there. And you want to, I'm going to put present salary. And you can change the way that orients, like you could have it be horizontal instead of vertical if you wanted it to be. I could also, I'm going to click in here, I've done the fill and border there, but I can go over to bar options and select scaled box plot and error bar width based on count. What that means is my box plot, and I'm not sure what I have in this data set, but we'll find out. If the two groups have different sample sizes, then that's going to be reflected in the width of the box. Take a look. There it is. You see one of them became narrower. That indicates that there are fewer observations in this for this group as opposed to this group. And just as a reminder, asterisks are extreme values, and that 36 just designates in the data set that it's the 36 that this point is the 36th value in the data set. Another thing you might want to do, it's not going to be, it's not a problem on this one, but I'm clicking over here on this on the scale. I'm clicking over here on the scale because sometimes it won't put zero as the beginning number. And if it's at all possible, I mean, if it totally messes up things, then sometimes there's not anything you can really, sensible that you can do. But if it doesn't, if you can, put a zero right there. Otherwise, you can have um, some mis misleading uh, interpretations of your graph. So then all you have to do is uh, close that. Sorry, I have this on another window over here. And there's the uh, graph now. And I can right click and copy or copy special, copy or copy special. Finally, one more thing you can do is, from the editor, is go to Options and uh, Transpose Chart, if you would prefer to look at it on a higher, uh, horizontally. Okay, that's all I have on this.